Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now today I want to talk to you about some uses for wig wax spray. This is not a really new product. It's been on the market over a year, maybe two years. I've just discovered lots of the uses for it. I think it's an amazing product. And I want to read the back of the, um, there we go, got my light on that. I want to read the back of it, the directions to you first. And I'm putting on my readers because this is really small. Tips for using wig wax spray. Okay, so the first thing it says is to give your wig a good shake and style as desired. Tossle liberally with your fingers to create body or texture or brush smooth. Shake the wig wax well, shake it up, and spray on styled hair from 12 inches, holds and maintains the finished hairstyle. So this is an amazing little product right here. And it's not a heavy spray or a pomade or one of those cement sprays meant to hold it up to you and not let it move an inch. Of course, you can't touch it because if you do, you know, anyways, it's not one of those heavy duty sprays, but it does have an odor, a perfume. I don't think it's offensive, but people who can't do odors, you know, may not like that. Um, I think it's fine. It's a floral type odor. It's not offensive to me, but to some people who, I have a daughter who can't do scents. She can't do perfumes or any of that stuff. It just drives her wild, allergies. So to those people, they probably wouldn't want to use it. They would want to use something like a wig spray with no scent. Um, the ways to use wig spray. Um, <clears throat> when you put it on, it feels as soft as you did before. So it tells you to shake it up. <coughs> By the way, I have on the Diana today by Aesthetica in Caramel Kiss. It's a kind of a darkish wig. And this is kind of a curly wig in the back. So I'm going to spray it really good in the back so those curls can really... And what it does... It helps hold those curls in place. Now the size on the Diana here can either be smooth back or pumped up with curls and pieciness. You can do it either way and it will it will help. Now I'm also told that this spray if you've got something that falls down in your face, now this one doesn't have, yeah, I, let's see. It will keep it, keep the bangs from falling into your face, basically. Keep them up if you wanted to do it that way. You could keep it up and wear it like that. See what I'm saying? It will help you do that. It will totally keep it up. Now, you can't go up too far because of the hairline. And this one does not have a strip of fabric there. Oh, let me get this up. There. Okay. So, you can just piece it out. It'll help hold this part up, as you can see. And it... You know, it keeps it from flopping down, and it doesn't feel sticky. It's drying right now. It's not quite dry, but it's pretty dry. I'm going to spray some on my fingers and see how long it takes to dry and see whether or not it's sticky. But you can see that it, it, it does help to bring the pieciness out. It's really good for this. And it does help with the curls in the back of the Diana while my hand is drying. 
I'll turn around and show you the back of the Diana. It's a pretty, pretty wig by Aesthetica. Pretty, pretty, pretty wig. I love the car color Caramel Kiss. I think it's a really pretty, pretty color. I think it looks really, really natural. My hand is still wet. It's a bit tacky, but not really sticky. Not really that bad sticky. It's a bit, but not, <coughs> excuse me, not that bad. I had a muffin this morning. Some of it is getting stuck in my throat. You know how that goes. So anyways, it is a bit sticky on my fingers. Once it dries though, it's perfectly fine. So it's not a problem. But look what it does for the hair. It pieces out the hair and it kept, it's perfectly kept this part up so it doesn't go into my face. I really like that about the wig wax spray. Um, I'm thinking the only drawback to it is the fragrance. The f I'm, I'm just worried that some people may not be able to tolerate it. I know my daughter who has allergies to fragrances and can't be like in a furniture, or like a perfume department at Macy's or anything. She can't be there because it, it will drive her crazy. She just can't do that. Um, it does help the wig stay poofed out. You can see it does that. It will help the wig stay poofed out and it will give lift in the front, just like I showed you, lift in the front. And you can use it every day without it feeling crunchy or hairspray, like you've used too much hairspray. It feels soft even after you've used it. You can even refresh it and poof it out again if you want to. And it'll go right back. Look at that. It goes right back. So it holds without being stiff or sticky. Um, you can scrunch it and you can put a little bit of water with it and some wig wax and you can get even better hold if you want to. <laughs> I've played with that a little bit and so that does work. Um, the only con is the smell. And I'm just worried that some people might be allergic to that. Um, you can even use it twice to give more lift if you want to. I like it. I think it's worth the money. It's about $29 or so on Amazon right now. But... Um, it has many uses. One other thing is, is that if your wig is getting a little old and it's getting a little smelly, you can use this stuff because of the fragrance and it'll freshen it right up. I've seen that too, where people have said that. So I don't know, I'm kind of liking the wig wax spray. I'm gonna leave a description, a link for it in the description below. I think it's a good product and I like it. And I also like Simply Styling Spray. I think it's this one has different uses than this. Different uses. And the wig spray I like is this one, the Brandywine. And it has different uses than this. The wig spray is the traditional use for hairspray. Trying to smooth down little strays and so forth and keeping your hair in place. This one is for poofing up and for making it bigger and better. Now I wanna try a different wig with it. Let me take this one off. This is the Diana, and I wanna keep it together, make sure I keep everything straight. I hate when I put it down without my tag on it, <laughs> and then I get lost. What wig was that? All right. This one, is the Ambitious Red wig, Ambitious wig in light red. That's what I was about to say, light red. Okay, 
So I'm curious what it's going to do with the beachy waves. Now, if you remember, the ambitious wig has the beachy waves. So I don't want to, I don't want to comb it too much. I just wanted to get the front going for me. And remember, the front, these bangs were a problem for me with this wig. And I wanted to see whether or not it would do anything for the wig. It's a beachy looking wave, as you can see. You just kind of do it with your fingers and you just kind of leave the waves to go. That's what you're supposed to do. Now I want to see if perhaps, sorry about the tissue, allergies all the time, and see if See what this can do for the bangs here. Oh. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with this wig. Uh, this, this particular wig wants to bring some of its long strands when you're trying to work with the bangs. And that is annoying. I like my long strands to be where I left them, but they want to wander with the bangs. So let's see if it can poof up any of these bangs for me. You know I like the poofy bangs. Yeah, I see that. It is, it's poofing these bangs right up. What do you think? This is what I had problems with with this wig. I don't mind the beachiness of it. I don't mind putting my fingers through it and not combing it. I don't mind any of that. But the bangs were driving me crazy on this particular wig. I really like this wig. I like the beachy waves. So you can see how it did poof up these bangs. Those are poofed up. They're not flat like they were before. They are poofed up. So it really worked with the wig wax spray. It really seemed to help. So a different use than the hairspray. Hairspray is meant to hold. Wig wax is meant to poof up and enhance certain things. Now, I could try it on these uh, beachy waves to see what it does to the beachy waves. So, it says, actually, I like these beachy waves right the way it is, but I'm going to try a little piece and see. that. See that? Right there? It put that little piece right back where it belonged. Twirling over. We'll see what it does to this side. Pretty much. Pretty much the same. And I like the way it poofed out the bangs. It did poof out the bangs. And this is what wig wax does. It will poof out your curls, your waves, and your bangs. It will hold up the bangs instead of, oops, fell off my counter. There it is. And instead of having them plastered down, I now have poofy bangs the way I wanted with this wig. And I like it. I like these beachy waves, and I like these poofy bangs. I think it's awesome. Yep, I really, really like this stuff. I think it is worth the money. It is a little pricey at 29. Some places, 39, you know, prices differ. So um, I think it's worth the money. And uh, like I say, you can use it to refresh your wig if it's if the, you're losing the curl or the bounce or the waves, you can use it to refresh. Spray it and twirl those pieces 
and it will refresh your wig for you. And it's also good for a smelly wig because of the scent. It does have like a floral, floral type scent. It's definitely floral. And um, I think it's great. I think it's a good product. It's not gummy or sticky in your hair, but it is different from hairspray. It is not the same. So, just so you know. Now then, I'm trying to give away this bottle of Simply Stylin', and so far I have not heard from Diana R.D. So I'm gonna give Diana one more day, one more day, Diana. I've emailed her, I've replied to her email, I've told her that she's won this bottle, but I have yet to have her contact me in my email. So I will leave my email in the description box below. And if Diana can get in touch with me today, she will win this bottle of Simply Styling. This is mine. You'll have a full bottle. <laughs> and you will be amazed at Simply Styling. I love Simply Styling. So we'll do a, a tutorial on what you can do with Simply Styling another day. But this wig wax is pretty cool. I really like it. Look how it did, look what it did to my bangs. It fluffed them right up. And these bangs, my first complaint about them was they felt stapled in, like straight bangs stapled in. And this one just, the wig wax just really poofed them out a bit for me because I don't like straight bangs. I like a little bit of poof in them. So I'm real happy with the wig wax spray. I hope this was helpful to you and maybe that you will get a bottle for yourself and experiment with it on your wigs. Okay, another thing I want to talk to you about is understanding God's love. 1 John 4 says, God is love. He is love. Any discussion about love needs to begin with God because that's who he is. God is love. God was loved before there was time and space because if he is love, he has always been love. Even before anything existed in the universe, God is eternal and he is love. God is love. Um, God's love for you is eternal. For God himself has no end and no beginning. He always was and always will be. Therefore, his love for you is eternal as well, without end. That's what eternal means, without end. So trust God today and give him your heart this Valentine's Day. And that's my story for today. Have Diana R.D. email me so she can get her bottle of Simply Styling Spray. And I really like the wig wax. And I told you that this wig was the Ambitious in light red. Okay, just so you know, this was the Ambitious by Eva Gabor in light red. Okay, that's my story for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.